So we're going to derive the formula for the volume of a sphere using the slicing method. And the first thing that we should do is draw a sphere. So the sphere is in three dimensions. We have an X, a Y, and a Z axis. And let's say that we have a sphere of radius R here. Now the volume by slicing method requires that we slice this sphere into pieces. So let's say that we slice this sphere along this axis here. You'll notice that we are just going to get a bunch of circles. Now I call these circles, but really we're going to think of each one of these as an infinitesimally thin cylinder. And since this is the y-axis, we can call the width of each one of these cylinders dy. Let's take a look at one specific cylinder here. Let's say that this cylinder exists at the y value, just y. Can we find the area of this circle so that we can multiply that area by dy to get the volume of this little tiny slice? Now to find the area of one of these circles, we're going to need its radius. And to find that radius, we're going to have to look at the equation for the sphere. And if we look at the equation of the sphere and plug in some specific value of y, and we move this y squared term to the right side of the equation, we get this equation right here. Now notice that r is a constant because the size of the sphere is a constant. And looking at this one specific slice of the sphere, this y is a constant as well. So what we have is a circle in the xz plane whose radius squared is r squared minus y squared. Now I think we have all the setup we need to do this problem because we know that the volume is going to be the integral or the sum of all of these infinitesimally thin cylinders. And we can say that the volume of each one of those little tiny cylinders is dv. Okay, let's get a little more specific. For any given y value, we get a very specific thin cylinder. The volume of that thin cylinder is just the area of the circle multiplied by dy. So that would just be pi, we'll call it capital R squared, dy. Now what is the radius squared of this circle in question here? Well, we found it with this equation right here. The radius of each thin circle squared is just little r squared minus y squared. The last question that we have to answer is what are the upper and lower limits on this y that we're integrating with respect to? Well, you can see up here in this circle that the smallest value that we could get for this y would be all the way over here at y equals negative r. That, that's one radius away from the origin in the negative y direction. The largest value of y that we could come up with would be r. So our limits of integration on this integral down here are going to go from y equals negative r to y equals positive r. Now it's all over but the integrating. Let's go through it. I'm going to pull the pi out of this integral and recognize that we're integrating with respect to y, meaning that this r squared here is just some constant. When we integrate some constant, we just multiply by the variable of integration. When we integrate negative y squared with respect to y, we get negative one third y cubed. Now we're just going to evaluate that from negative r to positive r. Keeping in mind that we're going to replace y in this formula with r, then we're gonna subtract and we're gonna replace y in this formula with negative r. Let's do it. Okay, I plugged in our upper and lower limits of integration. Now we can simplify a bit. r cubed minus one third r cubed leaves us with two thirds r cubed. And the same is true with this term right here. If we subtract one third r cubed minus r cubed, we're going to be left with negative two thirds r cubed. So ultimately we have two thirds pi r cubed plus two thirds pi r cubed which gives us a final answer and the answer that we expect that the volume of a sphere is four thirds pi r cubed and we are finished. All right, let me zoom out on that so you can take a look at the whole thing. I think the setup is the hardest part of this problem. Feel free to go back and rewatch that part of the video, but I hope that this helped you out and I'll see you in the next one.